Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to design and animate this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Let's first start with the design section. As usual, let's first enable the guides and then drag and place the vertical guide at 5 units towards left. Next right click on this vertical guide and select add vertical guide and then place it at a distance of 2 units towards right. Similarly, let's create 4 more vertical guides and then place each of them at a distance of 2 units towards right. Next go to insert tab and draw a rectangle shape. Make sure it fits perfectly between two outer vertical guides as shown. Now remove the outline from this rectangle shape and then right click, choose format shape and then increase the transparency to see through. Now again right click on this shape and choose edit points. Now holding down control key just left click on the edge of the shape to add new edit point. Similarly, holding down control key, add 4 more edit points along the edge of this shape. Next right click on these new edit points and change them to smooth points that will ensure there are no sharp edges when we edit this shape. Now drag the leftmost edit point to the lower position and that's where our area chart will start. Now drag the rightmost edit point to the higher position and that's where our area chart will end. Now using the middle edit points and their handles, adjust the shape as required. I'm adding few ups and downs in this shape but feel free to experiment as per your need. That looks perfect. Next duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D and align it at the same position. Duplicate this shape 3 more times making it total of 5. You can notice the shape gets darker shade every time we duplicate due to its transparency. Now select all the shapes and align it to center and middle just to make sure they are all aligned at the same position. Next go to insert tab and draw a rectangle shape between first two vertical guides as shown. Remove its outline and change its fill color. Now drag this shape holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create duplicates and place them between each set of vertical guides. Obviously, they must completely cover the back end 5 shapes. Now select all these rectangle shapes holding down Shift key and then send them to back. Now select each rectangle and area chart shapes in pair and intersect them together. Now we get same area chart shape split into 5 different sections. Select the first section and apply 2 step linear gradient. Adjust the gradient stop and change their colors using eyedropper tool. Now making use of format painter, apply same gradient pattern to other 4 sections and then change their colors using eyedropper tool.
Next go to insert tab and draw a right arrow shape at the bottom of this area chart and adjust the size as required. Remove its outline and format it with two step linear gradient. Change the stop colors to darker and lighter shades using eyedropper tool and then change its direction as well. Now add three more gradient stops as shown and change their colors using eyedropper tool. Next go to insert tab and then draw a small circle shape holding down shift key right at the middle of first section. Match its fill color to its section shape color using eyedropper tool. Change its outline color to white and set its weight to more than two points. Now drag the shape holding down control key to create four more duplicates and place them at the middle of other four sections. Also make sure to match their colors. Next format the background by changing its color to darker shade of gray color and that makes all the color to look more vibrant. Next go to insert tab and then draw a vertical line over first circle shape. Change its outline color to white. Weight to one and a half points and then send it to back. Now drag this line holding down control key to create four more duplicates and place them on top of other circle shapes. Now select all five sections of our area chart and apply reflection effect. Increase the distance to two points just to separate the shapes and its reflection effect. Finally, place all text fields and PNG icons on our design. Make sure to change the font color to white as needed. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview of this beautiful design. Hope you all liked it. Next we will continue to animate this infographic. As usual, let's first enable the animation pane and expand it slightly. Let's start our animation by applying wipe animation to arrow shape. Change its direction to left and increase its duration to 1.5 seconds. Next select the first section and apply float in animation. Now select the first text on the arrow shape. Apply zoom animation and start it after previous. Next select the first circle shape. Apply zoom animation and start it after previous. Select the first line shape. Apply wipe animation and start it after previous. Finally, select first set of heading text and PNG icon. Apply zoom animation and start them after previous. Now making use of animation painter, apply same set of animations to other sections as well. Make sure to maintain the same sequence as before and you can cross check that under animation pane. When there is a need to apply same animation to multiple shapes, I normally don't prefer animation painter. Rather, I apply animation with usual steps and together start them after previous.
So here is the final preview of this beautiful animation. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment on this video. See you all in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.